Hi, it's Paddy and welcome to day 267 of The Daily Do. Actual events never feel as bad as the fear we felt before. How often do we do things we feared only to immediately want to do more? With the help of my varied life, I've got some proof and it's sinking in that fear is always worse than what is actually happening. Life's skydive of standing on the edge. Yes, the hesitation hurts, but then free fall and you're alive. The fear is always worse. What edge is it you're trembling on waiting for the leap? Push on and take the jump because the worst part is the fear. You've handled every situation that you feared in life before. Accept that now. Let it sink in deeply. You've handled everything you thought would ruin you completely if you faced it. But you had to and you did. You handled it. You're here today and stronger than you think. Don't let fear rob you of the truth that you survive. No matter what fear's thrown at you, you are thriving and alive. Fear won't give up or learn to fade, but we can learn its truth, that it's trying to stop reality that will not frighten you. Think now of something you did recently that you were anxious about. Then think of how you felt as you were walking out. The two are rarely similar, the fear worse than the doing. So remember this when choosing what it is that you're pursuing. You will handle it, even if it does go wrong. This isn't that the worst won't happen, it's that the worst feels worse in thought. Crack on and you will handle it, as you have done all your life. Take the lead from what you've done and always been alright. Standing on the edge, the hesitation hurts, but then free fall and you're alive. Yes, the fear is always worse. If you enjoy The Daily Do, please share it with your friends. Tell them they can get it on Apple Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, CastBox and Podbean. Or you can subscribe for a free morning email at www.thedailydo.co. Or email me anytime, paddy at the dailydo.co. I'd love to hear from you. Or say hi on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at The Daily Do. Bye for now and see you tomorrow on The Daily Do.